which, as well, many of you know, in the junior school that she's plugged in, she has aplastic anemia, so she needs a bone marrow, she needs help. So this organisation helps not only her, but everyone who needs stem cells. So the HERO project is targeted at our age group. It's so younger people, so people in sixth form or 16 or above, can help to donate them or at least register onto the stem cell like, donation bank. So where did it all begin? This is how the name began. It's Anthony Nolan, it's a charity, as you can see. It helps people by in recruiting people like us to register. Um, it was the first world stem cell donation register and it was put together in 1974 by Shirley Nolan. And he put it together because his son, Anthony, needed stem cells and there was no other organization like this to help him. So unfortunately, he did die before he got uh, stem cells in 1979. But since then, this organization has only risen. It's helped so many people in the world. There's over 700,000 donors now. But every day, more people are diagnosed with blood cancer, so more people need to be registered. Um, so as before, like I said, the HERO project it inspires 18 to 16 year olds about the difference you can make by registering. Hi, my name is Katie Day and I run the HERO project, which is an education programme delivered by Anthony Nolan. Our main goal is this, to let you know that you have the potential and the power to save someone's life. So we're not here to pressure, we're not here to persuade. We just want to make 16 to 18 year olds aware that they can do something incredible and that they can potentially make a huge difference to another person. How you can save a life through organ, blood or stem cell donation. I want to leave you with a question, and it's the same question I have for you. Could you be a lifesaver? And hopefully now, you will have the information you need to decide that for yourselves. So thank you very, very much for your time. And as I say, if you've got any questions, please do submit them through the form. Thank you. So it's just spreading awareness and hopefully you'll talk about it. So thank you for listening.